Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to transpose a row or a group of rows into columns. Okay, oftentimes we like to see our data in columns uh, rather than how I have them presented here, right? Because I maybe want to do some more work and it's nice to see things going this way than to have to scroll up and down. That's why traditionally we put the variables in columns and the actual values in rows. Here I have it opposite, okay? And if I want to convert this, I don't have to manually type these things or do a lot of cutting and pasting. I can use an array function called transpose. One thing I'm required to do is to find out the length of this row. So I see here by highlighting it, I get a little preview. Its length is five and same goes for the next row. And if I had many others, it would be the same. Next, what I want to do is find some space where I have five rows and pre-highlight them. You must do this, okay? So equals, then the formula is transpose, open parentheses. I'm going to highlight the values from the row. Then I'm going to hit shift, control, enter. Do not just hit enter. It won't work. Shift, control, enter. Okay, let's do a little formatting there. And as you can see, it converted this row of length five to a column of length five. Okay, and if I want to do that to the next, I can do that just again, pre-highlight the correct number of values, transpose, highlight, shift, control, enter. Okay, and now you might be asking me, could I have done that in one shot, especially if I had uh, many, many rows here? Absolutely, you could have. So let's do that here. So here you're going to have to highlight the correct number of rows and the correct number of columns. So since I have two, I have to make sure I highlight two. Equals transpose, open parentheses. Now I highlight both, shift, control, enter and I get all my values here. A little formatting from work I had done before. Don't pay too much attention to that, okay? By the way, if you're wondering, this also works in reverse, so I can convert columns to rows as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna pre-highlight five columns, so to speak, here, equals transpose, and this time I'm gonna convert, let's take this guy, Shift, Control, Enter, and I can convert them back to a row. So I can go from rows to columns and columns to rows using the array function transpose. You have to hit Shift, Control, Enter, and you have to pay attention to and be careful to highlight the correct number of rows or columns depending on which way you're going. All right. So hope this was helpful. Till next time, be sure to subscribe, like, and share, and check out the rest of my tutorial videos on Jalea Academy. Have a great day.